Hello and welcome back to another flea market video. This video is actually a compilation of quite a few different trips and it was also filmed a little while ago back in September of last year. However, I just had to post it because I had such good finds in these videos. Like genuinely probably the best flea market finds I've had in a long time. So I decided to edit it together, add a voiceover, and post it for you guys. This booth was actually incredible. There was that, I didn't really get it on camera, but it's a purple Tasmanian devil, and I really should have gotten it because it was vintage, it was really cool. And then they also had a ton of dolls, they were in pretty good condition, but I only got this Scara Screams because I've honestly been looking for her forever. She's my favorite Monster High doll design by far, and she's definitely not cheap online. So I passed on these Equestria Girl dolls and some Barbies, but I definitely got the Scara Screams. She was only $2, and for the flea market, she's in fantastic condition. She has all of her clothes, and she has all of her limbs intact, her hair wasn't super bad, and the only thing she's missing is one accessory. This woman was just restocking, and I saw out of the corner of my eye this Barbie case, and I was so excited, because I was like, vintage Barbies! And then they were in awful condition, and they didn't have any clothes, so that was a bit of a letdown. Um, but as you can see with my great camera work, uh, there, there wasn't much good. I think it was at this booth that I found Rebecca Steam. I'm not sure if I got it on camera but she was, I believe, a dollar. This is Coffin Bean Rebecca Steam. She's probably technically my first exposure to Monster High dolls because I think I had a friend in elementary school who had this doll and showed me it. At this booth, there was a bunch of bins, and usually I don't pay that much attention to these bins because it takes a lot of digging, especially if you want to find toys, but I decided to look into that bin because there was a Care Bear in there, there was some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in there, and also these Barbies. And so I dug around a little bit in there, I found that Yasmin, but she was in pretty bad condition, so I left her behind. And then as I dug some more, I found, uh, what is it, Slumber Party Megan, and she has her original top, she has her original pants, and she even has one of her original shoes, which is super rare for Bratz at the flea market. I could not find her second shoe, unfortunately. That Barbie hair thing was pretty cool. I didn't get it. And then there was also these Littlest Pet Shops that I got. Um, nothing super special, but definitely pretty cool for the flea market. I feel like I never see Littlest Pet Shop at the flea market anymore. There's this modern day owl. My favorite one though was definitely this Gen 2 pig. I believe it's number 2205. The same booth, I walked over and there were bins full of dolls in bags, which is super rare and it was great because they were in great condition. There was Monster High, a lot of Ever After High, some Barbies, Disney dolls, but there wasn't anything that really stood out to me that I had to have. And as you can see, they were all labeled $5, which for dolls that I don't have to have is kind of a lot. So I was gonna walk away until the seller said this. See something you like, make an offer, don't look at the prices. And so of course I had to keep looking. There was just a ton of dolls here and I knew I could find something that I liked even a little bit and I knew that they'd give me a, a good price. You could tell that they were kind of trying to get rid of these things. Looking back on this video, there's honestly a lot of dolls I wish I got instead but I ended up getting two dolls and those two Littlest Pet Shops from the same seller for a total of six dollars. The first doll that I got was Luna Matthews. She wasn't in bad condition at all, but she just didn't come with her original clothes or any of her accessories or even her wings. So I unfortunately ended up selling her. And then there was this Ashlyn doll, and she was fully complete. She had her purse, her stand, her dress, her shoes. Her shoes are the main reason that I got her because those are really just great looking shoes. But at the end of the day, I also sold her because 
I'm just not a huge fan of Ever After High. She's the first Ever After High doll I got, and she's probably going to be the last, because I'm just not a huge fan of them. Then of course it was time for my mandatory boba break. It's like 9 in the morning at this point, but you know I had to get some boba. These vintage pins were so cool. Again, looking back at this footage, I wish I got more, but I bought just a few of them. I think it was $5 for all of the pins that I got, and I think they're pretty cool. That's my favorite, the oak tree one. I put this one up in my car, just as a reminder, not that I drink. These roller skates were so cool, with the floral pattern and everything, it made me want to start roller skating. If anyone collects those LOL OMG baby things, man is this flea market the place to be. This is some stuff that I wish I could have gotten, but I was honestly just running out of money and didn't want to miss up something potentially better. That's definitely something that I've learned since, is I bring a lot more money to the flea market now. Not that I end up spending it, but just in case. I'm looking through these Shopkins looking for Littlest Pet Shops, but it turns out that I'm looking in the wrong direction. This booth was probably the best booth I've seen in a long time, but they had pretty high prices, like on this sack boy. <laughs> and I mean, $10 for that isn't terrible, but 15 is probably what I could get if I was a reseller. For me as a collector, it wasn't really worth it. This bin was full of 2010s dolls. There was Barbies, there was Monster High, Equestria Girls. Again, another bin that I probably would have gotten a lot more from if I was buying now, but I just ended up getting this Perry and Pearl doll for $5. If you've watched my older flea market videos, you'll know that I already got this in a flea market video. However, she was missing her tail, and this one has her tail. So what I ended up doing was taking off her tail, putting it on the one that I already bought and already cleaned, then I sold that one on Mercari. This was a bin full of Littlest Pet Shops, and it, again, I was so excited! It had a bunch of furniture, but most of the Littlest Pet Shops, if not all of them, were McDonald's toys. So somebody had already dug through and got the good ones, or they just didn't have any. This is also just the only clear shot I got of it because I was so excited I just started digging through them. I only ended up getting two of these little apartment thingies. I try to pick these up whenever I find them because I had a ton as a kid, so it's pretty nostalgic for me and I like to display them with my pets. They even stack like this, which is pretty cool. Looking back at that footage though, I probably should have gotten more if not just bought the whole bin. I also got this teensy littles pet shop thing. They're like a Polly Pocket knockoff kind of. I had a few of these when I was a kid but I don't have them anymore so this was a cool find. It opens up like that and looking at the top it even came with three of these little pets which are super cute. This is a different day but at this booth, there was a ton of CDs. Look at how many CDs there were. They actually had some pretty good stuff compared to the normal flea market CDs, which are usually Christmas music and mariachi. Nothing good here, but I found it funny that there were a bunch of dolls in a box labeled e-cigs. This was such a great find. There were four Bratz boys and a Sasha inside those one of those Bratz carrying cases. But again, I was running out of money, so all I got was that Sasha doll and a pair of Converse for $3. If I had more money, I definitely would have bought that entire thing, because he wanted, I think it was 15 for the whole thing. It wasn't just about the money, I also just didn't really care for the Bratz boys in there, and I didn't know if I was going to have space for the actual carrying case in my room, but it was a good lesson learned, and now I always bring more money. If you want to see more flea market videos just like this one, go ahead and subscribe. Otherwise, have a great day.